if you do any prospecting with LinkedIn, you have got to go get set up with Surf. That's S U R F E. It's a tool you can use to add new contacts to your CRM system directly from LinkedIn in seconds. I'm using it every single day. I add contacts, follow my deals, keep track of notes, and it ends up saving me a bunch of time on prospecting and outreach, which means I can spend more time moving my deals along. The data is always 100% accurate since I don't have to copy and paste all the fields over from each and every contact that I want to put in my CRM. Instead, Surf does that all automatically with just one click in about 60 seconds. The team over at Surf has put together a very special offer for fans of sales players. There's a link down in the show notes and you can use the promo code JWSurf5. Don't forget the E at the end of Surf. That's JWSurf5 for 5% off your first year. Don't spend another minute doing things manually. Go get set up with Surf. Okay, I wanted to share a couple of updates to the podcast and the SaaS sales players community that I referenced on a recent episode. So I wanna first start with the fact that I finally got a facelift on the podcast cover. It had been quite a while that I'd run with the uh, Hawaiian shirt, black background with like the peach colored logo. Uh, that was one that I had had help designing. And there's actually a whole story behind the Hawaiian shirt. It was my LinkedIn headshot for a really long time. I had that picture taken on a trip to St. Petersburg, Florida. This was uh, in 2019, I joined a early, early stage startup as their first AE. And the the whole company did a company offsite or onsite, I don't know, offsite, onsite. <laughs> we weren't onsite at HQ. HQ was in Austin. Uh, but we traveled, everybody traveled to St. Petersburg, Florida to this beachside Airbnb and the entire company stayed at this Airbnb to do uh, like, uh, it was like a hackathon and some sales strategy and all this really interesting stuff. So those are different times, but uh, it was a cool trip and they'd actually brought a professional photographer onto the beach to take our headshots. I apparently didn't get the memo because I showed up in my Hawaiian shirt as one does to a beach trip in St. Petersburg, Florida, but that ended up becoming my headshot. And when I started out with the podcast, I wanted to have a cover that was really eye-catching. So it was a pretty obvious choice for using that as the, the podcast cover image. I've now moved on. Again, I hired a professional uh, a professional designer to actually help me put together the concept for the new cover, which is a blue background. It's got me wearing a professional suit coat. And I bring this up because I want to make sure that it doesn't get missed. If you're logging into your podcast uh, streaming platform and you don't notice my show right away, uh, just as a PSA, the, the podcast cover looks a little bit different now. So if you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribed to the show. Uh, the more subscribers on the different platforms does help boost the show's uh, visibility in the search engines and those kind of things. So it really helps me reach more listeners and helps me get my message out there uh, a lot faster and a lot more effectively. So thank you for doing that. Also, if you haven't already taken the time to go and rate the show, I also appreciate ratings. So do the streaming platforms. They tend to boost podcasts that have uh, more ratings, higher ratings, so if you wouldn't mind taking 30 seconds and going to your podcast streaming platform of choice and rating a preferably five-star review, but of course, uh, be honest in your feedback. I do want to know if it's not uh, you know, five-star content. And then if you've got even more time on your hands, and I would greatly appreciate it, a review of the show, a write-up on particularly Apple Podcasts, because I don't believe Spotify offers uh, the ability to leave a review on a show just yet. But Apple does have that ability. So if you're on Apple Podcasts listening to the show right now, take a minute, write a review, share what you liked about the show, share what you didn't like about the show. All of it helps me make better content. It boosts the show up. It helps me reach more people. And again, helps me get my message out there and help more sellers. The last thing I want to talk about is the, the SaaS Sales Players Slack channel. I referenced this in a recent episode. About a year ago, I launched a Slack channel that's been pretty private and pretty small up until this point. Uh, I've slowly grown it over the course of the year. The idea behind it is it's a place for networking, for seeking advice, for sharing best practices, for uh, you know hanging out with other peers in the SaaS sales category, the SaaS sales space. And I'm now wanting to open this up to a broader audience. I'm not ready for that just yet. And I'm slowly adding more and more individuals on a one-to-one -one basis into the community. 
but in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do a whole separate episode about it with a link so you can go and, and yourself sign up for access to this Slack community. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into the show and for supporting the podcast. It really means a lot to me and I'm super excited for things to come. That is future guests, future content. And I'm generally optimistic about the, the state of things, despite what you might be reading in the headlines, more episodes to come on that topic, but thank you very much and have a great night.